Rudy Gobert, Kyle Lowry, Mitchell Robinson, Malik Monk, and Kyle Anderson are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today, it is Tuesday, November 28th. We're talking DraftKings, but we're doing it right after this. First, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman, and do this. Cyber Monday deal ends today. NBA lineup generator, $4.95 for your first week. If you want to get better at NBA DFS, this is the place to start. I think this is the most accessible thing that we can offer to the large majority of you. $4.95. We generate thousands of lineups on the back end. We present only the good ones to you. We get rid of all of the junk. Lineup pops up on the screen. If you like it, click save. If you don't, click discard. You can pick chalky lineups, balance lineups, contrarian lineups, lock a player, swap players around if you want. You'll see our projections, our ownership, optimal rates. This is the tool to start with to get better at NBA DFS. You can check it out. Cyber Monday deal, promo code cyber, link in the description. It goes away tonight. Sign up now. First up at number five, I'm looking at Terry Rozier. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 7,400. Projected for 38, goals about 50. Winning lineup 23% of the time. 36 minutes here for Rozier. Stepped right back into his normal role. And now, no LaMelo ball tonight. 21 points, five assists, four boards, stock and a half. Terrible spot. It is a pace down spot against a good Knicks defense, but Terry Rozier is priced as if LaMelo Ball is playing, and that is the difference we need. That makes him look like a fantastic value. At number four, I've got Grant Williams. He's power forward only, but just 4K. Projected for 20, goals 31. He's in the winning lineup 23% of the time. I'm talking 30 minutes for Grant Williams. That's pretty standard for him. Could play a little bit more. Maybe if Lively's out, he could even see an extra minute or two. Now, he's not a good per minute dude, 0.7. But the price tag and the position help. Nine points on 14% usage, four and a half boards, two assists, and a stock. Decent enough spot for him because he's going to play. However, it is paced down against a decent Houston defense. That said, Dallas is playing for the dub in this one. They definitely want to knock off Houston. And at 4K, we don't have a ton of value. That makes Grant Williams look better. Emmanuel quickly is in at number three, point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,300, projected for 26. The goal is 38. He's in the winning lineup 26% of the time. I went 25 minutes here for quickly, somewhere in that fantasy point per minute range. Amazing matchup. Three possessions above their average. So they're getting a giant pace up spot against a bottom level defense. All of that is helpful. 14 points, three boards, three assists, a stock, we don't have value. So guys that have MPEs in this like low 5K range are naturally going to be more important. If we free up some value later on, guys like Quickly will just fall a little bit, but starting the day, he's a guy you have to have your eye on. In at number two, we've got Darius Garland. Uh, I actually think this might be my personal favorite play. Point guard eligible, 7,200, projected for 40. Goal is 49, winning lineup 31% of the time. So Cleveland is sort of like the Knicks. They get a pace up spot against a bad defense in Atlanta. This one should be a lot of additional offense for the Cavs. 34 minutes for Garland, 1.15 fantasy points per minute. It's 26% usage, 22 points, seven boards, three assists, and a stock and a half. He's gonna fill up a stat sheet. The points should be there. Every bit of this is great. The only downside to Garland is that he's point guard only, and that doesn't seem to matter at all. He still gets to number two. But my number one play for today, at least as of right now, is RJ Barrett. Small forward, power forward eligible, 5,900. Basically the same way that I explained quickly. MPE in the 5K range, lots of flexibility, projected 32, goal 42, winning lineup 33% of the time. I went 31 minutes. We're talking in and around a fantasy point per minute. Again, terrible Hornets team, no LaMelo ball, pace up spot, 19 points, four and a half boards, three assists and a stock for Barrett. The flexibility is massive, and that is what we need right now. Does it look like that when we get to 7.30? I'm not sure. But for right now, we are looking at RJ Barrett as the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Tuesday, November 28th. FanDuel version around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.